So Colin Slugger, Raw CEO here with Logan Fusion Lean, Logan underscore Fusion Lean. Is that right? Yes, sir. FusionLean.com. And we're chatting about sweeteners because mm -hmm. everyone wants to know, like, what's a healthy sweetener alter alternative? What's like, you know, is, is honey good? Is, is erythritol good? Is xylitol good? Is it not? Does it spike your insulin? Does it break your fast? Like, there's a million things, right? Yeah. They all have their own little story or whatever. And then there's a broader question of like, should you even be consuming sweeteners? Because then it kind of, it kind of messes up with your, your hypothalamus and your interpretation of sweet and whatnot. And I, I struggle with that. Because like, I like having something sweet in like my, my butter coffee in the morning. Yeah. Right? You don't really do sweeteners. Actually, let me show you. Pull something up for you guys real quick. Uh, I don't really do s sweeteners, okay? But I do... Um, as you guys probably know, I do take BHB. It does have stevia in it, and I will put stevia every now and then in my coffee, okay? Now, people will say, like, well, sweeteners can kick you out of ketosis. Yep. I'm going to somewhat agree that, that it can, but it depends on what the sweetener is. Mm -hmm. I don't think stevia is bad, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to prove it to you. So I just tested. I'm in 2.3. Which you just tested? I just tested, and that's very deep ketosis so, right there. So what does that mean? Tell them what that means. So, a lot of people don't know what that means. Yeah, so 0.5 or higher on this reading right here, okay, that is where you are in ketosis, 0.5 or higher. The higher the number, the deeper in ketosis you are. And 3.0 is extremely deep. Two, like 2.2 .2 or higher is extremely deep, and I'm in a 2.3. And I did have uh, a scoop... Once one full scoop of the BHB, so it also has flavor in it too, doesn't it? It does, but so it, stevia and flavor. Well, the the stevia is only really the the kick to it, so yeah. But a lot of times those products will have like stevia, but then it'll have like natural flavors. Yeah, and natural flavors is a blanket term to kind of protect the the product and the proprietary information. And so not all natural flavors are bad, but sometimes yeah. like you don't really want to have a million flavors and things because you just don't know where yeah. they're coming from. So essentially, my only one I really use is stevia, yeah. unless I'm making an extremely like complex recipe or something. Then what would you use? I mean, I only own stevia, so I mean, only time I'm, I'm doing that is with Jamie when yeah. she has like erythritol or what was xylitol, I think what those things right. are. Yeah, stevia is straight plant based. Now right. again, it's in a plant extract. If, if somebody's gonna say, "Hey, Colin, make me a stevia smoothie, make me a stevia coffee, and a stevia cookie." In a stevia, you know, shake like okay, yeah, that's probably too much. I that's mm -hmm. you know probably need to lay off of that. Yeah. But if you're just you know moderate, you know, little to none, I mean, your body's not gonna have a, an effect on that. You know? Well, and I don't think you're gonna be having it all the time. No. Like I, mean, I think people overdo it, and what happens when you're overdoing stevia, whether it's xylitol, erythritol, a lot of these things are like two to three hundred times more sweet than sugar, and your brain yeah. interprets that as the case. And what I think it does, at least it does for me, is when I'm in the habit of using too many sweeteners, then I'm always craving something sweet. And mm. I think that's the real danger. I think that's the real danger. And I think everybody's different because like you could easily have stevia in your drink, but then you're like back to eating fat, protein, big plate of veggies, and you're like, you're totally content with that. Yeah. Some people are like, they want something sweet every meal. That's how I am. Like I always crave like dessert after like a meal of meat and veggies. Like I just yeah. do, right? It's like programmed into me. And I feel like the more I do the sweeteners, whether it's erythritol or xylitol, I've, I haven't been doing xylitol lately actually, guys. I've been reading some not so great things on xylitol. Uh, but the one that I do now is kind of like stevia sometimes. Monk fruit is actually one that, that I'm seeing is like probably one of the best yeah, sweeteners. It's kind of like similar to stevia where it's like a plant extract and it's not it's not like a sugar alcohol. It's going to screw with your gut. Yeah. And so I think monk fruit's really good. I just have a hard time. It's like, it's just like some people don't like stevia. Like I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding a monk fruit that I can enjoy. You know, I you know? actually, um, this was actually way before that I, before I knew Wild Foods or knew, knew any of that stuff. Like this was the first brand that came to me. I, the brand's actually not around. They ran out of money. Hmm. Um, they came out with a patented BHB product. They didn't have enough funds at all, and they shut down. Anyways, they had a patented BHB product, and I, I didn't really know like about like sweeteners or anything like that. And I, I really had no, like anybody that I knew that knew this stuff, but my nutritionist, okay, he's known as one of the top nutritionists in the country. I went to him, I said, hey, this is a product that I'm gonna start taking. I want to know if this is okay. Like, I, I don't really know what these other ingredients are. I was like, I, I was like, I know what Stevie is. I, I know what BHB is. I just don't really know what this monk fruit is. Mm. He was like, oh, he's like, no, monk, monk fruit is totally fine. Don't need to worry about that. And I was like, oh, a lot okay. of the research is showing that too, because it's becoming a more popular product and it's has a lot of the similar effects of stevia. And I think the baby's here. Gonna put him on 
Yo, <laughs> is he up? Let's put him. I want to. I want to put him to the wild audience. Uh, yeah. So, guys, what about you? Like, what sweeteners are you have questions with? Or are you trying right now? The ones that I'm doing is usually a combination of stevia and or erythritol. And so there's a product called Swerve that. Oh, here's another thing. This is what I can't stand about these other sugar alcohols. Is I know deep down that most of them. I shouldn't even say deep down. I know that most of them come from corn, mm, right? Mm. They don't put it on the label. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll just say erythritol or they'll just say Zaltol, right? In fact, the only Zaltol we do buy when we do buy it, and you know she buys it a lot, but we're trying to get off of it, is the one from maple because it's from either maple tree or from corn. The maple one's going to be way better, right? Yeah. And, and what I'm fearing is as erythritol is becoming more popular, I'm pretty sure it's from corn. Right, yeah. even if it's a non-GMO product, it's still from corn, and corn is just not a great product. It's not, it's not good, and corn causes so much destruction in this country uh, from the monocrops, and there's just a lot of problems with it. So, it's like I'd love to see like an erythritol that says what plant or what thing it's extracted from, yeah, and like high quality organic, like super quality. I would use a product like that, yeah. right? In fact, maybe we could source something like that and find that. Eventually. You know what you need to do is. You don't have to, you know, test see if you're in ketosis, but you can test your blood sugar before and after. Before and after, saying, yeah. okay, I'm gonna have stevia. Let's see how much my blood sugar spikes or doesn't mm -hmm. spike. Mm -hmm. You know, and then all right, let me try xylitol, erythritol, whatever, monk fruit. Let me see which one will spike my blood sugar the least or the most. Which yeah. ones I know. The keto be connect avoiding. people did that, right? Yeah. You can sit in the middle. <laughs> We're talking about sweetener, so maybe you can give your you can give your um, feedback. Well, I actually, what were you talking about? Just like measuring? Or yeah, measuring? yeah, the blood sugar. Like, is your blood sugar being... Say hi, you're on camera. <laughs> you're on okay. camera. I would actually like to do that for xylitol versus like stevia yeah. and erythritol. Because they've done tests and like there's a lot of history of stevia not spiking it at all. Yeah. Well, curious. yeah, they pretty much say it doesn't. Yeah. But, but then you get into the thing of like whether... I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's other variables. I, I think I don't know if you can just test it that way and it and that tell you everything. Well, no. I mean, this is like scientific studies. Like, no, I know. But if you test your 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 glucose after taking it and it doesn't rise, your blood sugar. I don't know if that. I still think there's mechanisms in the body where you could it could kind of be break breaking a fast and like kicking you out of things. That I don't know if it's as simple as just doing a blood glucose test and that's it. I think it does other things, and I definitely know that in oh, interpretation. Oh, other, you know, other effect, other effects. And I think it's other in effects in your body. Yeah, you know, because yeah, it's I, sweet and it goes in. Your brain interprets it as sweet. Like things happen in your body. Yeah, I just think the biggest the biggest reading is like you know blood sugar reaction or ke obviously the, or ketones, right? Yeah, like can it knock you out of ketosis that fast? No, it just wouldn't. No, like it it takes a good amount of carbs to get knocked out. So of if ketosis. you if you were in ketosis right now and I gave you like hundred grams of carbs, would how long would it take to knock you out of ketosis? Okay, that would, yeah. Oh, it would pretty fast? Yeah, that would. Okay. But... Sweeteners, probably not. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the blood sugar is more accurate reading of seeing, like, how your body's reacting to it in the sense of, like, sugar spike, you know? Because, like, the ketone readings and the blood sugar, they are similar, but the blood sugar is a little bit more of an accurate reading of, like, oh, wow, like, because it'll show you, like, mm -hmm. right away. Like, when you drink a soda or something... Because it goes boom, into the blood right that's away. That's going... It's going to spike right away. Right. Whereas like, ketosis is a little bit more of a longer, deeper process. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it depends. You know, if I just ate two donuts, I could probably be knocked out or yeah. even a donut. You well, know? drinking your sugar and eating your sugar is yeah. totally well, different too. too. Yeah. Because that Go Wild book that you read that I'm reading right now, that's the one thing that he's huge on is do not drink your sugar. Well, it's because fiber, they say, is protective against right. obesity because it slows the absorption of carbohydrates, sugar, whatever, into your blood. Yeah. And thus, less insulin resistance, less insulin spike, right? Just less damage overall. Yeah, I mean, I don't think fiber is as great as people say. They're like, oh, eat fiber. It's like the miracle thing. I think it's useful, but I think if you are eating foods that have a lot of carbs and you don't have fiber, that's yeah. the worst. Well, one of the benefits of fiber is that it's, it helps you detox. It binds to... Yeah, it's kind of it's like pushes things through your system, but it also slows, it slows absorption. Like if you eat a sweet potato, those carbs don't hit your blood as fast as when you drink soda. Right. Yeah. It's literally, it could be like over the course of a few hours, right? Like your yeah. stomach, your digestion, all these things happen and it's a slow release and that's the most natural way, you know? They do what about when you eat on... carbs? <laughs> he said, this is my channel, dad. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks, he drinks his sugar. Since we're talking about sweetener though, and you, you, you just entered the video, why don't you introduce yourself and talk about what, what you do for sweeteners and what do you struggle with with them and what are your thoughts? Because I've been trying to get you on monk fruit and erythritol, but it's, 
I had to I had to send you some scary research to finally little, change I'm your mind. I'm a little bit of a xylitol <laughs> addict. Although, yeah, okay, that so my means name's a lot. Allison. Um, I'm Colin's girlfriend and okay. the mommy to the wild baby. So I only do xylitol in my butter coffee, but I do a generous amount of it, and I, ju I just can't like monk fruit doesn't taste the same. Well, that stuff that your mom got is okay. You have to experiment to find Erythritol, what works. Erythritol, it just doesn't it doesn't taste very good. Neither does stevia. There's some a monk fruit brand that he got a long time ago, and his mom got that's not that bad. I need to play around with that, but I definitely have. A problem and I've tried backing off on the dosing and it just doesn't taste as good <laughs> it's because you're used to having sweet coffee every morning and when I, I taste know. it because I don't have it anymore I'm like this is so sweet well sometimes I overdo it just a little bit because I, I make a, a different amount of coffee every day so I my xylitol amount is usually the same and sometimes I don't pay attention to how much coffee I have but I'm having yeah so I'm having a little bit of problem with that other stuff though I don't really have that I like I never ate desserts or sweets or anything like that prior to meeting you like my friend Kedra had a really bad sweet tooth. She would always eat desserts. So when I was around her, I would eat desserts. She loved chocolate cake. And then you, you have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. But you're like all or nothing. But now, but now I don't want sweet coffee. I've like completely changed it. Whereas you, you only like sweet yeah, coffee. So it's what literally. What are you doing now? I just do. He I use it. I'm, do I'm doing a lot of no, cold. He butter coffee, but I do oh, butter okay. coffee with nothing in it or cinnamon. Or but I'm also doing a lot of cold brew where I'm not having anything. Yeah. Right. And I actually think what it's doing, and this is something you have to keep in mind if you're fasting, guys, or you're doing like intermittent fasting or drink your fat, is like I've been doing cold brew a lot, and what I'm noticing is that when I do get hungry, I get some not great cravings. Like mm -hmm. I want to eat like basically not great because I'm just like oh I'm hungry. Like my my hunger urges are stronger. When you and fast, so I, you said. When I'm doing just cold brew in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so versus what, butter coffee. Versus butter coffee because when I'm doing the drink your fat method and I'm having yeah. fat, it curbs my appetite better so that when I do eat, I'm just like, you know, yeah, meat and veggies. That sounds good. But when I'm when I'm doing cold brew, especially if I've worked a lot or I'm tired, I'm like, oh, I want carbs or I want pizza or I want this or whatever. Yeah. Like I get those unhealthy cravings. And so I think that's definitely something to pay attention to. That's actually a good idea is for me to do cold brew coffee and make butter coffee with it that way. Because it'll cut the, the bitterness, the acidity of the coffee a little bit and I might... It might not bother Well, you can so make the cold, do. yeah, you can make the cold brew and you can reheat it Gen yeah. gently and you'll still, it'll have the same right. smooth cold brew flavor. Yeah. Well, that's the benefits of keto is like, satisfies your hunger, you know, because mm -hmm. fat is two times more dense and thick than carbs. Yeah. Lasts longer, but. I need to cut mine. You should try that. Carbon type. That, that, um, that cocoa coffee or whatever it was that I found at the farmer's market. I know. I wanted to. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Because it had no sweeter in it, right? Not, dude, it was just. What's the name of the brand? Forget it. They, they, they followed me. I think they're local, aren't they? They are. Yeah, yeah. dude. It was so. I want to develop product that for Wild Foods too. <laughs> dude, I I literally I I just cocoa. It was cocoa and coffee. Cocoa That's coffee. It. They somehow made it taste really good. That was it. Yeah. Nothing. And I was like, "There's got to be something in here." They're like, "No, there's." <laughs> I know. That's nothing. why I was surprised when I looked at the yeah. website. Because I mean, the other cocoa. ones they have have a ton of sugar. <laughs> yeah, there's powder like powder or cocoa butter. Powder, uh, powder, yeah. Powder, cocoa. Zero everything, no calories. Because cocoa's kind of a little bitter too. So guys, what we're going to be doing regularly is a, we're going to we're calling these Wild Tribe Chat. And we're going to basically come and bring all of our people around here in the domain and, and record whatever happens to come up. And I mean, it's, special like, it's like a YouTube podcast basically. Yeah. And if you have requests about what you want us to talk about, uh, questions, whatever, rants, we're, we're just going to come here and kind of free flow it and see what happens. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Follow Logan at uh, Logan Seen on YouTube, right? And then Logan Fusion Excuse Lean me. on Instagram. Uh, what's your new Instagram name? Because you changed it. <laughs> this Crunch of Mine. <laughs> this Crunch of Mine. At This Crunch, C-R-U-N-C-H, of Mine. I don't know the origin of that. You'll have to explain it to me later. And then follow me on uh, YouTube, Wild CEO, and then at Colin Stuckert on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Comment below your Comment below. sweetener. What sweetener do you guys take and why? Which one do you maybe need to get rid of? Yeah, and what yeah, what one should you probably start doing less of? Yeah. Yeah. All right.